Hello, and welcome to Wyverns and Weirdos, The Journey Home. I'm your Dungeon Master, Darby, and joining me, as always, are Zoe, playing Sevia, Emily, playing Beatrice, Laura, playing Conrad, Mitch, playing Exley, and Johanna, playing Fall. Let's jump into it. Where we last left off the party, further investigating the tomb, uh, went into a, uh, what appeared to be some sort of shrine or, or room dedicated to a, uh, sarcophagus in the center, uh, and fought off the six whites watching over the room. Um, in the process of Four of the six Papiamechi uh, uh, masks worn by the Whites were burnt away by Sevia's devastating fireball, um, which made that encounter incredibly easy. Um, and so we now currently have uh, Conrad and Beatrice by the sarcophagus with the masks on, as Beatrice deftly pushes the lid off the sarcophagus. So, looking inside the sarcophagus, you see the bones of a small bearish creature, um, of uh, specifically of a Zorbo. Um, you're able to uh, kind of piece together from its like Oberlaka, uh is associated with the uh, bear-like creature, the Zorbo, from the puzzle cubes. And this is probably a Zorbo. Additionally, a small ring um, uh, rests atop the pile. Conrad is, because he's holding, like, um, the lantern aloft... He's going to look around and then move his hand towards the ring and, and gauge if anything happens. Like, just like to see if anything starts just, to stir. Or he looks at the eyes to make sure there's still nothing. Not nothing, at him. nothing stirs. Um, so yeah, the the ring is a almost like a signet signet ring. Uh, there's a solid made of solid platinum and gold uh, with a setting that looks like a small halter shield. Hmm. Not what I was hoping to find, but Beatrice, I will grab, be careful to slam shut if it starts to move. Okay? I'll All do right. it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> All right, roll me a charisma saving throw. Okay. As you touch hmm. the ring. Cool, I die. Excellent. Um, so I have plus two, that's okay. Yeah, so 17 plus 2, so 19. 19, okay. Oh, wow. Kuro looks very attractive is, while he's doing this. Yeah. Uh, as you touch the ring, the dust swirls into a shape of a small, feral, bear-like creature that billows towards you with a ghostly roll. Um, however, nothing happens. Um, the or no, Nothing seems to affect you in any way. The... Uh, the the dust kind of um compresses itself and moves back towards the ring interesting and i've grabbed the ring now yes cool i kind of like imagine for like flavor's sake because like connor's charisma got a huge bump because of um, a promise he made all of the one of the packs he made with the in the temple um Probably, I imagine from Conrad's point of view, he just kind of hears those whispers from the Emma Temple, just like that, just drown out any other noise. Mm. Um, and then again, you can't, no one can see this because it's behind the mask, but he's like, Good, know your place. This is mine now. You can close it now, Beatrice. I don't think there's anything else interesting here. That was interesting. Interesting. Clearly, it wasn't strong enough. 
So, yeah. Besides, I am already inhabited. No room for more. So. Uh, cool. Does this ring look like it's magical in any way, Darby? Uh, it probably is. I'll put it on. You put it on. Okay. I mean, nothing happens. Hmm. Oh, well. It's a ring, I suppose. A uh, fun kind of one. So that's good. I mean, it might be able to be identified. Um, and that, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Well, that's that then. You don't see anything else there, Beatrice, that might be of use? I'm going to also dump uh, the ring into your... If I can. Cool, thank into you. Into your... Um, where is it? Your... Well, we'll take your time. If we get a long rest, then he'll yeah, ask you. Your inventory. Better. Obviously. Long long rest, yeah. or e even just a short rest would be enough yeah, for me yeah, to do yeah. it. But, you know, as a peek into Cora's um, brain, he's ascertained this yeah. is the logical thing to do. Um, so yeah, he tilts his head at Beatrice. Anything else you'll see? No. Nah. Otherwise, it's a bit of a bust, really. I would have liked to have spoken more. Clearly, it was found wanting. Um... Does Beatrice doesn't say anything extra? It's just it's just bones and dust, I'm assuming. Um yeah, just bones and dust. Hmm, that the beers to be all. Then I suppose we should close and rejoin the others. A pity. Good idea. And Beatrice will wander around and, and push it closed. Alright. You do so. All right, so you rejoin the others. I'm still wearing the mask. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Alice, what what did you find? Nothing of import, just unfortunately. Some, just some bones and dust. Hmm. Did look like that bear creature thing, but. Uh, that's it. And Beatrice sort of does give Conrad a little bit of a <laughs> look. Yeah. Conrad doesn't say anything, but like Beatrice can tell from a slight shift in his body posture that he knows. Um, and he um, he just tilts his head to one side a little bit like Beatrice does as a bird anyway. He's like, disappointing, though may possibly have already been raided before, which raises question of the entities in that room. I think at this, at this point, I think I'm going to ask for a deception check. Okay. Cool. Oh, I keep very I'm actually very good at deception as Conrad. That's a 17, though. 17. Uh, does, does anyone have more than a plus 7 to insight? Um... Uh, like Beatrice, it doesn't matter because Beatrice knows the truth. Um, Exley has a plus seven, but he's not concerned. I rolled a seven as I always roll on Conrad checks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Uh, I can't read your brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sylvia's not looking. Okay. See if they're lying. Fair. All right. Cool. Also, oh, Conrad just kind of shrugs. Like, we should press on. This was disappointment, but we should uh, continue now, considering we've had to. Uh, we can only but hope that there are no um, uh, enemies that have come in the uh, wake of the noise. Correct. <laughs> you right. can't see, but he's glaring at artists. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you you. Take the other path, like the other Be direction. The Beatrice thing. is going to pull the sun sword out again. Okay. Um, so you've got so you've got some light. Uh, Excellent. We'll yeah. once again remind everyone of the creature that we saw before. The uh, the skeleton you're talking about. Uh, the figure that was in the shadows. Ah, yes. Weird mask thing. Yeah. Um, almost dwarven in stature. Good recall. point. I will keep lookout. Dwarven in stature. stature. Potentially a younger person? 
I mean, you can't couldn't make out that kind of detail from where you were. Okay. Actually, we'll just think on that then. Just like the fact that they were kind of shorter and stockier. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, which way? Going around this, you you can tell that there is a path to the... There are two paths to the north. Uh, one path to the east. Uh, yeah. Or you can go downstairs if you would like as well. Actually, is not leading. Uh, Beatrice would ask where it where it was that Exley had seen the other creature. Was it across the other side, like the other balcony, or was it down below? Um, the down below was the other creature. So le a level below you. Um, <clears throat> actually takes a bit of a look at the, the flooring. Is it particularly dusty where we are? Um, not overly, no. So it would be difficult to make out any sort of skeletal footprints. Um, not of any real use. All right. Mm. Perhaps we should continue on this level, at least for a time. All this right. is a good point. Do we want to go across uh, through the other way, or do we want to head north? Hmm. I would be interested to at least look down uh, to see if there um, there is anything to see in the passageway opposite us across the room before we descend in any way. If no one says anything, <laughs> Conrad will start to walk <laughs> that way. <laughs> Actually, we'll follow Conrad. Um, cool, yes, cool. nothing has seemed to... Um attack us without us interacting first. A little look around should hurt. Of course. Let's all have a have a have a look. Yes. Beatrice sticks. Cora says it's already st striding off. Okay. I uh oh gosh. Oh so yeah Conrad is going to go like investigate uh, with Exley behind him to um look at the hallway that's there. Alright. I have like a long, like a sort of balcony, sort of like the room for podcast listeners is kind of like, yeah, a huge square of like this like weird sort of like very like not hugely wide like balcony sort of around mm. the whole thing. Yeah. And, and there are a wider hallway. There is, yeah, a wider hallway jutting off to the east and then two northern hallways going, uh, going upwards. Um, mm. Okay. So coming along here. Uh, you see a giant stone skull crusted with moths that juts out from the end of the passageway. A flame flickers within each of its eye sockets, and a view into a chamber beyond can be seen through its open jaws. Interesting. So before the rest of the party come along, if actually is the closest by, Connor will kind of pause and put a hand on his hip and then look at it and then... Not turning back to Exley, but um, obviously directed to him, or at least obviously from a comrade's point of view, he says, that reminds me of someone I knew. Oh, interesting. I cannot comment, but I do... I do feel it would be good to... Mm. I am not good at this. 
I would instead say, good work with the spell before, and good observations with our two friends. Perhaps we can make a better one. Perhaps. Time will tell. Time will tell. And if it is of any use, I am sorry. At least in part. And then he's going to um, investigate the skull closer. Okay. Cautiously, obviously, yeah. if some bloody little flame skulls pop out of it, he's going to just like no, leave immediately. No, no flame skulls. Out of it. Um, the just just <clears throat> flames within the eye sockets. Um, you can actually see through the mouth here um, another room. Um, uh, through this skulls crusted with dried mud. Uh, glower out from niches cut into the walls of this tomb. Um, a stone sarcophagus, much like the previous one, stands at the center of the chamber. Its lids ador it, its lid adorned. Um, uh, you can't yeah, you can't really make out the adornment from here. Um, behind the sarcophagus, resting atop a marble pedestal is an ornate crystal box with a small humanoid skull floating inside it. Oh, I personally don't like the sound of that, but Conrad kind of uh, turns back um, after looking and says, has another coffin in it, similar to the one before. Also another skull, floating like a cloud. Perhaps there will be eight rooms. Or nine in total. Ah, oh, like uh, the puzzle. I will, I will with. ask you also, Conrad, um, since you're investigating this uh, skull, can I get you to roll me a perception check? Sure. He's like, <laughs> he's like, kind of like, Ben Squad, you're able to have a look at this. <laughs> um, so, perception uh, 14. I can't remember how good his perception is, though. Oh, plus eight. Okay, okay. cool. Um, you notice that the lower the lower jaw of the skull is hinged. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> cool. So he kind of like um, but he does sort of like straighten up when Exley mentions that there might be other rooms, like like the puzzle. Good thinking. Hmm. It is only an assumption. An assumption to bear in mind. What is your assessment of this room? I am not certain. There was... And Curry kind of like flexes his hand a bit and is like, there was but one thing. Yeah, or actually, no. <laughs> uh, Dragon bait or um, our other friend <laughs> nearby. Uh, yes. <laughs> like, lean closer. Actually, we'll do so. There was other thing in the coffin, but only a ring. I intend to ask Sevia to look at. Until that happens, I'm not certain of the use. Perhaps same thing might be in this coffin. That may be answered to puzzle later. Or answer to puzzle we have been sent here to solve. Impossible to say. But it is interesting, as you point out, that there are similarities here. Also, the skull inside there that is floating does not fill me with much confidence, given previous uh, experience with the fire ones at the temple. That is my assessment as for as forth. I do not know the risk, but it would be interesting to investigate further. Curious. Mm. Perhaps each sarcophagus will contain something which will be beneficial to us. This is possible. 
If your assumption is correct, perhaps we need to visit each. We shall see. Shall I call? I shall make more noise now, yes? Of course. And Exley will step out of the <laughs> the hallway so he's no longer blocking it. Excellent. And then Kuro turn, straightens up. Everyone, I have found something. Appears to be a similar room to the crystal one. I can see a coffin similar to that as well. How do we access the room? Do we crawl through this skull's mouth? Kara looks at the, the skull and looks at the hinge and is like, it is worth trying. Uh, who is to go first? I am not certain. Uh, you, you are an accomplished adventurer. How small is this opening? Uh, it's, it's like a little crawl space. Uh, it's it's a decent sized crawl space. It's not massive, but it's mm. okay. Full is not happy at this point. Uh, Ar- <laughs> Arsis, if if you if you think that I would be best to make the first venture in, then I am happy to. Friend, I would much appreciate it. And I am not as brave as I wish I was. And he crawls in. Uh, if I can just, if I can actually open this doorway, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <It's> an eight. <laughs> I cannot. Open I was just the... about to say. Remember, he is an eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Right? Um, <laughs> I cannot open the doorway for some or reason. Or he's a little. In... In fantasy grounds, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag him and anyone who wants to go into the room into the room. Kara kind of like pop, pops his like mask up just to look in and kind of like grimaces as like um, artists like cr- starts to like crouch down to crawl through and he's like, oh, hmm, <laughs> as he safely crawls through. Like, um, and and you see, artist is also going to use an action to just quickly uh. Cause a blue gem set into the uh, pommel of his dagger to light up um, so that he can actually see. Um, Interesting. I think it's, I think it's like light. Oh, cool. I'm kind of look over to see if everyone else is kind of congregated or not. Uh, CV has been, CV has been like looking around, like just looking at our surroundings, just trying to catalog everything, make sure nothing's going to jump down from the ceiling. Um, and uh, she's going to see artists going through there and like watch Conrad kind of act as if he thought something bad was going to happen, and then is going to file that away for later. And then is also going to kind of, uh, still holding on to her little lit up quarter staff. She's probably next to fall too. She's going to call out. Can you see about what size the room in there is? Should some of us stay out here? Keep watch. <laughs> to artists, I presume. Uh, yeah. it's... <laughs> no, just to, yeah. to anyone who looked in and saw the room. The, uh, the yeah. room the room appears to be about 30 by 30, but there's also um, kind of... A giant sarcophagus the, in the, the middle of the there's, room. There's, there's a sarcophagus in the middle of the room, but there's also some weird uh, cracks within the, uh, the walls. Hmm. Kind of will communicate this in the very charming and wonderful manner that he um is known for <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, well it's not as if all of us were necessary in that last room artist yeah artist is probably gonna give it an attempt to open this sarcophagus you <laughs> So while we're out here Dude. discussing whether we should all go in to open this sarcophagus <laughs> together, he's gonna open it. We probably like, hear like. Um, actually, no, he's not. He's not overly chaotic. He won't do that. 
Okay. Um, he'll <laughs> wait. <laughs> he'll wait until there's at least one more person in in there with him <laughs> before <laughs> before approaching the idea. Wow. Beatrice is going to follow him in. All right. He's still wearing the mask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beatrice. Yeah. Um, I have to make special note to drag you in because for some reason there's not some sort of doorway here. Yeah. I also can't um, move my token for some reason. Interesting. Oh, there I am. Yeah. Um, Exley is not going to go into the room yet. Instead, he's going to have a look at the... Um, skull that is forming the door and he yeah. wants to see if there's any similarities to that skull with anything else that we've seen if there is something to do a lot of a lot of doors open and close is this a door or is this an opening uh roll me roll me an investigation check he's not good at investigation that is a 13 13 i mean it's a skull it is designed to look like a skull. A human skull? Uh, yes. Okay. Or at least a humanoid creature of some sort. Cool. Whether that is an elf or a dwarf or a halfling or a true human or whatever. But not like a know, flail but... snail. No, no. Got it. Is there anything exciting with the, the flame in its eyes? Uh, no. There will be when Fall inevitably turns it purple with Thalmus. Yeah, and I was just his thinking flame that. skulls into the <laughs> hallway yet again. Fall just looks there and thinks of it and just like, ooh, just like cringes of that memory. <laughs> yeah, and Fall is definitely very hesitant to go through this narrow opening. So is, is anyone else coming through? Um, Conrad will, after a moment, I suppose, after Beatrice is there, um, kind of, like, set down his lantern. Um. Okay, as, as you go, start crawling through, um, the, uh, the mouth starts to close off, um, and you you are lucky, um. You manage to make your way through before the jaw snaps closed. Uh, if Sivi is fast enough, can she stick her quarterstaff into the mouth to stop it closing, or is that just going to break her quarterstaff? Uh, it, not as a reaction, sorry. No. It's... She tries, but just ends up just like yeah. bonking it in the, in yeah. the teeth. So the is there skull. no way in now? There is currently no way in. Or out, apparently. Conrad, Conrad, Beatrice, come on, are, you, are you okay? I did, can I hear them? He's like... Um, I'd say yeah. Yeah. It's it's a bit muffled, but... What happened? It seems to have shut. Did, did anything happen? Didn't... I don't... No, 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 I'm fine. I'm very nimble. Um, uh, so... Everything looks normal out there. Nothing has changed. The, the, fl the flames or the shape. Uh, um, I'll have a look. Uh, it just kind of shut. Um, perception or has, like, has anything changed around here? Yeah, have the flames um, changed? Was there any anything that indicated this so was the going flames, to happen? The flames went out. Uh, they start okay. to reignite now. And the jaw opens. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. oh, it's open. Um, the flames kind of went out and now they're on again and it's reignited. Um, Interesting. Are they a Speaking. timer? Timer, possibly, or <sighs> pressure? There's not like any pressure mm -hmm. plates on the ground that Connery can see that has kind of activated to the fact that there's three people in this room now. Could it have something to do with the masks? Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Um, Beatrice, Conrad, and Artis. Uh, I mean, Artis is an NPC, but he is included in this. Uh, he, the two of you and Artis hear a voice in your head. The voice of a young girl echoes in your mind. What's happening? Why can't I see? 
No truth to the Doom Child. Who is speaking? I, I, I am Nepatak. Nepatak. Who are you? So, <laughs> the question here is, Darby, can we roll to remember <laughs> the puzzle? I would say <laughs> you, I would, I would say it has been recent enough for your characters. You don't even need to roll for it. You, you know that there was the line. Speak no truth to the doomed child. Well, so Connor puts his hand up, and I, I can't actually remember because it's been a little while since we recorded the, that episode. But um, uh, I think he wrote it down. Um, and then he kind of like, uh, especially if like some someone like artist like starts to like say something, he just like gestures to like shut the fuck up, and then like um grabs the book that he has strapped to his side, and then point and then flips through it, and then points to that part about speak no truth. Yeah. I mean, Artis is aware of the... the Corin's going to treat him like he can't Artis. remember. Um, where am I? How, how did I get here? Mm, difficult to say. What do you want? I, 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 want, I want to go home. Why can't I see anything? Currently will not respond. He's going to instead inspect the room. Okay. Um, there appear to be uh, warrens uh, in the walls. Um, there's probably an intricate pattern uh, within um, that they... Yeah, that they... That... But they are too small for for you to get into. Um, there is also um, there is a sarcophagus at the centre. You do now see um, that you are now that you are in the room. Um, so there is a coiled serpent carved into the carved in relief on the. Uh, lid of the sarcophagus okay. and the name um, which one was the snake uh, Moa okay interesting hmm. and what does the little floating skull there is like? also I would say with your passive perception you do notice mm -hmm. there is a secret door Ooh. Um, to the north of the room Probably we'll look at the secret door, but if yeah. uh, unless Beatrice wants to look at that first. Once they started hearing the voice, Beatrice went stock still, and her body like like she's just gone completely rigid. Ah, uh, kid. Yes. Oh, oof. Interesting. He's not doing anything. Yeah. Um, what does the skull look like, by the way, it as is, well? It is uh, a small uh, humanoid skull. Mm. Mm, I knew it. Uh, so Connor kind of like, while he's inspecting the room, looks at that and then kind of goes, um, and then kind of like slides his, um, his mask back down. And then... Um, uh, He's going to have a cursory look at the, like, secret room that he's noticed. Yeah, uh, I'm just double-checking the access to the, um, secret, uh, through the secret door. Um, just to see. This is room 14. And while you're double-checking, I yeah. guess, Conrad will turn back to look at Beatrice again. He paid no attention to Artis. And then, um... He kind of, like, tries to put a hand on her shoulder. Mm -hmm. Beatrice doesn't react. Come look at door. Do not think on it. It takes her a moment. 
Beatrice glances over at the skull and then moves towards the door with Conrad. Past memory? You could say that. Mm. He kind of looks like looks like he's trying to think of something to say, but then he just uh, it just kind of like um, <laughs> makes kind of like an odd gesture. Is like focus on door. Fair enough. Speak later. So Beatrice is going to see if there's a way of opening the secret door. Okay, uh, roll me an investigation check. So, investigation. It's a 15. 15. Um... It can probably be pried open using thieves' tools. And um, I, could, I tried an open all day 19, if that helps with anything as well. For? The same. For investigation? Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, this it doesn't appear to be same trapped, thing. and it can probably be pried open with thieves' tools. Excellent. We have a way out if we need it. Yes. Should we, should we try and open the sarcophagus? We should try. We should. He looks like he's about to say something. He's like, wait, as he looks over at Artis, he's like, we should try. Yes. Let us do that first. <laughs> and we will look at the go to the back, turn back to look at the sarcophagus. All right. Um, yeah, so do you attempt to open it? Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, whoever is attempting to open it, roll me an athletics check, please. Or if you're opening it together, uh, one person can, uh, roll with advantage. We'll do it both. Okay. Um... Uh, Conrad is fairly athletic. I don't know if Beatrice is. It is. <laughs> he sizes her up <laughs> to see how good her muscles look. <laughs> and appeal. <laughs> um, it's a 19. Okay. Um, yeah, so you easily managed to push this. Uh... With artists in the room? Yeah. Oh, okay. No mask for this one. Okay, Conrad drops um, this down. We look in the sarcophagus. Yeah, okay, so uh, inside here, a bundle of faded cloth holds the serpentine bodies, uh, serpentine bones of a jaculi, um, Moa's animal form, and mm -hmm. a staff um, rests atop these remains. Um, so the staff, uh, on one end of this wood, is, it is a white wooden staff. Uh, and on one end, an, int uh, an intricate carving of a snake's head has been made. Should we try to take? I'll take this one. And All Beatrice right. reaches in and grabs the staff. Okay. Um, roll me a charisma check. I will note, you can interestingly choose to fail this. Not that you have to, but you can choose. I, I will say for future, Conrad, that is an option for you in any of these situations, but... Uh, Interesting. I think... So, you I, get, yeah. so Beatrice kind of gets the desire to let this happen, yeah, if, she, yeah. if she so wishes. She doesn't get the desire to, but it is an option that you okay. as players can make. Um, that... Pretty sauce that you mentioned. <laughs> Beatrice, Beatrice fails. fails. Ooh. What uh, what did you roll? Two. Two. Okay. So 
green smoke billows from the staff, coiling around you like a serpent. A sibilant voice whispers in your ear, Let me help you. I promise to be good. And you are um, inhabited in part by the spirit of Moa. So, Moa does not, uh, Moa does not control you. Um, Moa does impart a flaw, though. Um, each, each of the tricksters within the temple, uh, will impart a flaw, uh, in connection to their alignment and their, uh, feature. You have this flaw as long as they are inhabiting you. If they somehow depart you, uh, then um, you you lose that flaw. But Moa has the flaw, I must always speak the truth. So Beatrice, you cannot lie. Interesting. Oh, that makes sense. However, oh, no. However, um, you also get a power as part of this as well, while the spirit inhabits you. Moa's power is that you can use an action to turn invisible. Anything you are wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it is on your person, and the effect ends if you host, uh, if you attack, cast a spell, uh, force a saving throw in some way, or deal damage. You can do that whenever you want. Is Beatrice conscious of all of this? Yes. The floor and the boon. Uh, I'm going to say she's not necessarily aware of the uh, of the floor at this point, but um, that makes sense. Moa, Moa would probably explain to you the gift that she has uh, given you. Oh no, sorry. Moa is male, and Moa would would uh, explain to you the gift that he has given you. Okay. Are you all right? I wish Fawn Stevie were here. We will be out soon. Yeah, like, Fall, Sevia, Exley, and Dragonbait have been standing at the mouth, like, waiting to see if it closes again, just watching, being like, can you... Yeah. Oh, Fall, I can't... I get, there's dirt getting into my glasses. Is that, does that look like there's smoke around Beatrice, or is that just fog in my glasses? The child speaks uh, in the I minds... Is something happening there? The child speaks in the minds of, uh... Conrad, Beatrice, and Arthas again and says, are, are you friends of my father? Is he looking for me? Uh, and Artis says to the two of you, I think we should leave. We should go, yes. Um, I think there's not much more to be found here. Uh, and Conrad will start to move towards the, um, the skull. Okay, so you, you go through? Yeah. All right, um, you managed to crawl through fine. Um, okay, there we go. Ar Artis Take is gonna turn to Beatrice in, in going out and say, oh, did you want to go first or did you want me to? You go. Okay. The false pillar been keeping an eye on the flames to see if like, yeah. they can figure out what that whole deal is. All right, and Beatrice, do you, do you crawl through? She takes a moment. And then she crawls through. Okay. Uh, the the drawers begin to close shut again. Um, and slam shut on you, gripping you in, uh, in between them. Um, you take initially... Um, Oh. 
some damage. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage as these drawers clamp shut around you. Quick, everyone assist. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Try like Grass. prime open. Yeah, right. see if Is this, open. what's this skull made of? A uh, stone. Actually, we'll use stone shape to create a hole. I need to double. See, very comrade go to like <laughs> pry it open. Next slide. The spell has no effect. Mark off the spell slot. Oh, okay. Um, quick, everyone help. This, okay. Is the is, okay. the is the fire yeah. out now, um, Darby? Yeah, the fire is out. Um, all right. So, is someone going to make an attempt to pull Beatrice out? Yeah, well, we're, we're trying to, like, pry it open, basically, okay. I guess. Okay. I don't know if someone's going to try and pull her out. All right. Um, roll me a... Uh, stre- someone roll me a strength check to to try to pry... Assist it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. Conrad, would you like to do an assist? <laughs> yes. Sylvia yes. has a flat bottom <laughs> So it's Connor and Sylvia. Is anyone else look for the visual trying to assist? Or just, just us two? Um, um, artists would... Assist. Artists would definitely get in there to help. Oh, I don't as, care about him. As as would Dragon Bait. Actually, would probably be focusing on the spell. Yeah, that's all good. Ball gonna use thaumaturgy to relight the fires. Yeah, <laughs> because because this because uh, with this yeah, Exley cannot cannot this round um, because really? there is a repeating thing each round. Um, so what did Conrad roll? I'm so sorry he rolled in that one. That's a three in total. <laughs> um, he, oh, I don't know if it's advantage. I forgot though? that I have advantage. So let's hope oh. it's not enough. Oh, yeah. My Let's God. do that one. <laughs> okay, 18. 18. That's, that's just not enough. Oh. Just not enough. The DC was 19. Okay. Uh, um, so. Cause so pro- oh, so as for flavor, I would like to say it's um he's trying to like help with everyone's assistance but the arm that he was hanging on to for so long while exley was deliberating pulling that lever back up on and hot and carrying full the same thing just judders um and he like it okay. uh, for that moment it slams shut again all right um so uh yeah for fall you were kind of helping but because you didn't quite use the help action because it was CV using the help action. If yeah. you want to try to do something, you can. Yeah, um, Paul's going to see the like the place where the fire was and has gone out and he's going to just punch it into his hand and cast Hellic- Hellish Rebuke to try to set it alight again. Uh, you cannot. Hellish Rebuke is specifically a reaction spell. Oh, so injury myself doesn't count. No, no. And even if it did, the target would oh, be yourself. Be so tasty. That is so unsexy. Because um. the, t- the target of Hellish Rebuke is <laughs> whoever... Just, 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 the yeah, target of Hellish unsexy. Rebuke is whoever so does... So unsexy. The target of Hellish Rebuke is whoever does damage to you. So even okay. if it did work, you would be doing fire damage to yourself. Aww. Um, well, technically, the, the, the bracier is causing damage Aww. to Paul. So. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have any... I don't have any fire spells. Do, um, no, do you have anything in general that you can do? Um, or are we going to get Beatrice to attempt oh, to escape? Uh... Because you can make oh. an... You're gonna help Beatrice in in an escape check. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Levi- not levitating wouldn't really. No, help. levitating no. would not work. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just I'll just try to right. help pull uh, Beatrice out. Okay, yeah. Beatrice, at the top of your turn, you take eight more points of bludgeoning damage. Um, roll roll me a uh, uh, this one can be an athletics or an acrobatics check, your choice to escape DC as we covered with Conrad's n- near success, is 19. Fourteen. Fourteen. Is Beatrice getting advantage because Fall was helping? Yes, she should. Did you roll that with advantage? No, I didn't. Okay. That's why I'm here, baby. Brilliant. Okay. Well, I rolled 19, so 19, I've got a plus yes. 7 for acrobatics. So, so yeah, you are just a... Oh, 19 plus your ability, so, okay. Yes. Yeah, you, you with with the help of Paul, you are Wait. handily able to maneuver yourself 
out of this, uh, this jaw. And as you do, the mouth opens back up as the eyes light up again. Oh, I'd suggest not doing that again. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I nearly got <laughs> crushed by teeth. What do you think? Fair, fair. Clouds above, bitch. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I think. Oh goodness! And she's just gonna like pat <laughs> Beatrice's shoulder and almost accidentally cast cure wounds at a. At the, right. uh, the base level, first okay. level. Yes. So actually, we'll also cast cure wounds. Okay. Take that eight points of healing from Sibia, who does look surprised that she healed you. <laughs> uh, and you get thirteen from Exley. So you Beatrice sort of like twists and shifts and you hear just a bunch of her bones just like pop and crack. Ew. Well, let's not do that again, shall we? No. Beatrice still of the staff? Uh, I would imagine she does, yeah. Yeah, she's got it. Where did you... Did you take that? Yes. <laughs> fine, I guess. Fine. Just reach in the coffins. It's fine. Well, Connery did it. Why can't I? <laughs> we. Are we bringing. Uh, I will say for flavor's sake, after like Beatrice would have like staggered out, like Exley and Sevier would have like healed Beatrice. Um, Connor would have kind of like staggered up a bit, shaking out his hand, and then just kind of like stall, like kind of like sulkily, kind of like stormed off, and like just kicked a rock <laughs> across yeah. the um, balcony or yeah. something like I, that. Yeah, I will say you've you've played into an interesting factor of the wording of this floor, Beatrice. It's mm. not it's not like Zone of Truth where I, where you are prevented from telling lies. It is specifically I must always speak the truth. Yes. Um, uh. I should also share this card with you um, that has uh, well, ha that has is the Conrad, information. Is Conrad to do that? And she she's trying to be quiet because she she doesn't want to make Conrad upset. Yeah. He can probably hear her. She's not particularly stealthy. Yeah. She's like Conrad uh, did do that, and it has ended rather strangely for him and you ended up stuck in some jaws because you grabbed the I don't necessarily think it was because I grabbed it I think it was because I came through last I Conrad was the third of us to come through the first time Precisely. Beatrice, I, I suspect it's on a every third person to go through basis I that don't know. I don't know how it knows that, but I would assume that it's part of the magic of the tomb. I guess. Pressure plates, perhaps. Potentially. So bad I didn't go in there. Wonderful, marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. So. Well, I hope the stick was worth it, Beatrice. Ah, uh, we shall see. How dare she call me a stick? Or how how dare how dare you call my staff a stick? What? Because because distinction. Yeah, the spirit is not the yeah. staff. No. No. Beatrice just sort of looks at the at the head of the staff like, uh oh. Does only Beatrice hear this, or does everyone? Only hear Beatrice this? hears oh. this. I mean, you don't have to look at the staff as if it's me. It's not me. It's oh. not me. Okay. Oh dear. What I... have I done? You have welcomed me in. Don't worry, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I I just I'm here to offer some help. I want the person who's behind this gone as much as I hope you do. Do you know 
what uh, who is behind it? I do not know her name or the entirety of her nature. But she is not the friendly sort. I will keep that in mind. I will keep an eye out for you for anything I might recall. Thank you. <laughs> well, are we ready to continue on? Oh, sorry. This is this is Mit Mitchell, three intelligences. First, this is three intelligences that are communicating with Beatrice now. Because like, both. Conra is the cursed one. But she's because she's got two swords, two good aligned swords, and a good aligned spirit, all communicating with her. My short sword is in a. Or was I've it? I've only got the one sword. There was also the one in Ravenloft. Did you not claim that? Did someone else claim that one? I think somebody else claimed that one. I don't remember that one. Yeah, there's because there's a plus. There's a plus up one long sword that that you found in Ravenloft. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Mitchus has that too. But yeah. we can we can keep. We can check later. Yeah. So she's got two. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right. While that uh, conversation is happening, Exley is still um, by the skull. He wants to take a little bit of time to investigate it to see why his magic didn't work against it. Okay, I... I'd say this is probably an arcana check. So roll me an arcana check. That's a 14. 14. You have no idea. Okay. Actually doesn't do anything else. So, uh, artist says, uh, I gather we have two options now. We go straight up north, or three options really. We go straight up north, we go back to the other side of the stairway and go north from there, and we start going downstairs. Was that a dead end? Like the other one? There was a secret door in there, but... I do not know whether it is worth pursuing for uh, what other issues there are in that room. There was some old skull in there that spoke. I believe it was the doomed child. We did not speak truth to it, so it is fine. But I don't imagine that we would have lasted much longer not answering its questions at all in there before it uh, did something. Yes. I'm glad to hear that you got out of that fight. <laughs> yes, well, minimal casualty. There we go. Um, mm. <laughs> Uh, I would suggest we continue up this level, uh, towards north, if we can, and then if we, if that does not bear fruit, then we descend. That is my thought. Okay. Alright. But if others have observed otherwise, I am happy for, to listen to proposal. Seeing as we are over this side already, we might as well. The north, it is. All right. Let us go. So you continue north. So we'll follow right behind until, Conrad. Until you reach... Uh, so, a blockage. Um, so a carved bird soar across the walls of this corridor. They block the passage near its northern end, 
Uh, blocking the passage near its northern end is a large adamantine propeller with five sharp blades. Oh dear. Hmm. Apparently no one wants us to come this way. And you notice whoever was first to step into the corridor would, would have seen it Conrad. as you were stepping in, begin spinning, spinning, spinning before it becomes essentially this blur of adamantine. Conrad uh, turns around to where X is standing. You saw its only start when we approached. Yes. I did. Interesting. The question is, is it mechanic or magic that is triggering this? It may potentially be both. An interesting question may be, if we are to get out of the range of it, would it continue to spin? Hmm. Everyone back up. We are testing a thing. Okay. So you back up out of the corridor? Scoot, scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> um, yeah, once everyone's out of the corridor, it begins to decelerate and Excellent. before eventually coming to a halt. I imagine visually for me, like, because I like picturing things, because Connor's carrying a lantern, it would just, you'd just see the glint of the, the propellers just slow down. Now, so um, it took about six seconds for them to reach full speed. It takes about a, a minute for, the, for them to slow to a stop. There are blades ahead that move around in circular motion. It slows and hastens as we approach. The slowing is, well, slower than the opposite. He calls, he like so, kind of, like doesn't like shout, but like he's saying it to most people nearby. Conrad, you with your kind of strategic acumen mm -hmm. are able to i i'm just yeah i'm probably just going to give this to you uh yeah that uh you know it would be very tight but there is maybe a chance of the more acrobatic of you so that would be yourself that would be fall and that would be beatrice <sighs> maybe being a uh, maybe having a decent chance of leaping through the um, the propellers. What in if you do so while they are speeding up? Given the speed of my observations, for potentially Beatrice, if not too poorly hurt, damaged by the previous incident, and myself may be able to get through fast enough before damage. Problem is, if there is no way to deactivate it further on. Um, you can see um, from the end of the corridor, I believe, um, or uh, you would have seen going up towards it initially, um, mm -hmm. that the room ahead, um, there's no passage beyond. So, and it appears to be another tomb. Lantern light did not stretch far, so I believe another tomb. And, and thus far, other than this, uh, uh, yeah, other than maybe having secret doors to other areas, um, the tombs have not had, like, other than secret doors, the tombs thus far have not had clear passages out. They've been designed to look one way may have to return back the same way the true question is to to weigh up whether it is worth it to go this way or not at this point it is difficult to say beatrice has staff that we do not know the power of so curry kind of like turns around his hands on his hips Question is, we can investigate, retrieve if something is there, and then return. Those of us who are fast enough. But we need to weigh up the value of these of what we may find. 
I um, I can't help with any of the the thinking or the planning or the the reasons why. But if you need me to run, then that's something I can do. We can try. Alt. If yes, forty two. You I have notice. Merely going to suggest perhaps we investigate the greater temple first to find an alternate route. And then once we have dealed with, dealt with any threat, we then return for the spoils of the tombs. This is good point. We should find point to rest at some time as well. Then see where you may investigate staffs Beatrice has retrieved to see if it is of use or if it is a key to a puzzle. Quarter to raise good point. And probably the ring that you claimed that Beatrice mentioned as well. Beatrice totally did not mention a <laughs> ring. Beatrice she, said that she, she did, did she not? No, she, she mentioned said, a She coffin. said Conrad can grab things. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so artists wouldn't, yeah, artists would yeah. say the same the same sentiment of like, um, yeah, uh, and whatever it was, Conrad, you found Conrad. Beg pardon. Beatrice said you you grabbed something from the previous tomb. Oh, she may have been specifying. I do too. I've I've touched coffin before. I have only retrieved power from it though. You would be roll, best to be roll, mindful of this. Roll me a deception check. Because, I mean, you're technically telling the truth, but you're also doing so to deceive. Okay. Mm. Actually, no. Um, considering he said you would be best to be mindful of this, I'll do intimidation instead. That's all. That's the same modifier anyway. Uh, so it's a 14. 14? Um... Yeah, no. Uh, that is not enough with what he rolled. Um, okay. He's not going to say anything about it, but uh, yeah. It's fine. Connor turns around and then he's like, he like nods at Fall oh, cordially. He's like, I will write down name and we may return later. Hmm. This 42 makes good point. And Connor's going to, I haven't specified it, but he's going to start making a rudimentary map of this location. I Artis, actually, I will roll an intelligence check for him. Yeah, Artis is going to say, When the propeller started going, did it start when you stepped foot in? Or it was... when you stepped down? It was on approach. Kara looks down at the ground to see if there's any so roll... and yeah. stuff. Yeah, roll me an investigation check. Or whoever's closest to there, he will be like, look. <laughs> no. Use your <laughs> eyes. Use your eyes. See if there's anything that may be a pressure point. Um, investigation is excellent. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hell yeah. So that's a 19 then. 19. Okay. Um, we yeah. both looked yeah. down. It is, it is definitely pressure plated. Ah. Pressure plate. Easy. Interesting. Hmm. All right. What is... Um. Tell me, Conrad, what's your favorite winged beast? My favorite winged beast? Yes. I have not seen many. A mockingbird, perhaps. Okay. Um, so, you see uh, this ring on Artis's right hand flash with blue-white light. And this um, almost, like, flecks of ice start to stream out of it. And coalesce into the form of a giant hummingbird. Humming uh, was it hummingbird or oh, mo mockingbird? Mockingbird, <laughs> sorry, yeah. A That's giant right. mockingbird. Interesting. 
Uh, um, Magic. What use is this? What is your thinking? Have you ever... Have you ever... Um, attempted... To stop a fan as it's turning on? He probably hasn't... Oh, has he seen one? Before? Um, you, you see fan like... Like windmills and stuff like that. Like propeller based things work yeah. and and you would consider those sort of like like wind fans kind of things oh um, yeah so there's 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 things that would probably be like yeah similar to this propeller technology on vl or oh yes yes i do recall sometimes I used to throw fruit at it and what would happen if you stopped it before it could even before it was on then it would do nothing. My thoughts exactly. But my construct here is uh, construct has has a limited existence as a being of ice and magic alone. Ah, construct like forty two. But ice. Less sophisticated. That I would agree. The magic, the magic that sustains it, uh, only allows it to exist for twenty-four hours at most. It is far mm. from the sentience of a warforged. Show what you intend to do. All right. So, he gestures with his hands, almost guiding the, the, the bird towards the, um, the propeller. The bird goes in and holds the fan in place. Did someone want to um, do, the, do the honors of stepping on the pressure plate? Exley will step forward. Okay, so the uh, yeah, so so uh, where did I? So let's see. So while the propeller is motionless, a creature that isn't incapacitated can jam the mechanism with its body. When the propeller begins to turn, the creature must make a DC twenty athletics check. So I need to make. Athletics checks for this bird. Uh, Good luck. And if it is able to succeed, uh, the propeller is jammed until the start of its next turn. If not, it's going to take some slashing damage. <laughs> um, I rolled really well. What is it? What is it? I, Beefy I, little mockingbird. <laughs> I rolled a seventeen. I need to double check what it's kind like all of those birds with arms <laughs> just flexes. Um, those little strong like, photoshops here. Yeah. So giant... we burbs. We strong. What I will is... say, um, at some point, Sylvia's just been watching all of this happen and is just gonna is. Just gonna reach out and just hold Fall's hand and just kind of lean into their side and just sigh. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, giant. So, so from a statistics standpoint, I think it's gonna use the giant eagle, um, simply because he's wanting to get this as beefy as possible, which means it just succeeds, and the propeller jams. Oh. For at least a moment. Okay, I don't know how long this will hold. If we're going to go in here, we need to bolt through now. Exley, as he stepped on the uh, platform, I assume he's in front. Um, yeah. He will sprint forward, 
try and get to the other side and okay. assist in holding the propeller. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think... Yeah, so the the eagle's probably got a stronger um, strength modifier than you, you, but you have a higher athletics than it. So I'm going to get... So if... Yes, so... Uh, does anyone else want to run through in this initial six seconds? I guess we'll all kind of be like, oh, uh, oh, okay, Exley's going oh wait should i go <laughs> beatrice hands full the mask oh no it's okay so oh, um okay yeah pops that one on and then takes a seat at the bow like sits down by the balcony okay mm. okay and then yeah full bolt through okay um so, <laughs> all right uh anyone else Conrad will run run after as well. Okay. Um, I will run. say four because you're a bit further um, from it. Although, uh, what is your speed? If I'm dashing, it's 90. Otherwise, it's 45. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no. So you can still, from where you are, make it across handily. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I just grabbed someone else. Where am I? Okay. I'm stuck. All right. Uh... Just... Ah, thank you. Yeah. All right. It's because Sevier and Falls yeah. tokens were right on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it? Uh, Artist is going to say, "Is anyone else going through?" Otherwise, I think maybe if you hold it for long enough, it might actually completely ruin the mechanism, which would be a good thing for us. Um, or we can just leave it as is and try to do this again when, when you need to come back through. I'm going to stay here. Uh, Sylvia, did you want to come help? Uh, uh, uh. I think this has hes this hesitation. Actually, <laughs> roll me an athletics check. Oh, at, yeah, I figured. At, with advantage. The DC is twenty. You have uh, a plus that's six. That's a fail. That is a fail. Okay. With advantage. Yes. Uh, I haven't rolled higher than a twelve this entire session. Okay. Your dice are cursed today. I think they're they be burnt. <laughs> They're going in the bin. Then you die. Okay, so the the propeller start starts to um, accelerate. You take uh, as as does the the frozen bird six points of slashing damage, and you are thrown north into the into the room. Ooh. Into the room. Yes, into the into the tomb. Um, oh yeah, because you're with on our side. And yeah, but also, hey. also either way, either way, it specifies thrown north. Yeah. Um. I, oh, I'll wait up here. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, we should be able to get out again soon, hopefully. Kay. Yes. Um, so we should be able to sort this. Yes. So, a deep pit opens up at the entrance to this tomb. Um, which I would say the three of you are just able to kind of squeeze in together at this entryway. Um, uh, mm. it's tight, but it's, it's just doable. Um, so a snarling monkey-like creature decorates the sarcophagus lid resting at the bottom of the pit. Um... Beyond the pit, three treasure chests sit on stone diocese. Uh, the chest on the left is carved of black onyx. The middle chest is made of rusty iron. And the chest on the right is cast of silver and glistening with frost. Um, hmm. um, okay, so... Were there puzzles in the other rooms? Like, um, with the saying or whatever? 
So far, both rooms have related to the the script from outside, so we should be careful. Okay. Uh, and he kind of like flips back through to look at the what he's written yeah. down. Yeah. So, of note, the pit is twenty feet deep. Okay. Okay. Um, I think. Four, you can. I can do that without ease, taking you damage. Can, yeah. You can easily, easy, and and you can run up the walls too. I oh believe, or or is that a higher oh, level monk that's ability? That's a higher level that's one. Higher I'm level. pretty sure. Okay. I, want, I want that soon. Um, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Um, um, me, Johanna is like I don't think Full would really want to get into the nitty gritty of solving, but like uh, the keys turn on the inside only. Could that mean that it's the inside chest as chest is in the middle chest? <laughs> you can, you can. Cool. I don't know. Um, I like that. Potentially. Um, hmm, I can go and have a look in the pit. That would be a good idea. Um, yes. This, this, this seems, yes, good, good suggestion. Do you need a rope or, um... Oh, I probably will to get out, yes, but I can get down just fine. I will start to prepare. Exley, are you... I, I mean, 42, are you sound? I am. Good. Then this should be no problem for any of us. And um, Conrad will like start to get out of his rope, like a little rope. I think he's got like a thing to throw down when that happens, when falls down there. Nice. Yeah, Full will um, jump down and roll as they land. Okay. Um, all right. So um, you see from here, yeah, the, oh, uh, um, the sarcophagus. Um, so. The sarcophagus lid is carved with a stylized image of Wongo in his soup monster form and has been melded to the rest of the sarcophagus um, and apparently can and does not seem to be able to be removed immediately. Mm. Um, Interesting. Okay. There are... Oh, no. Nope, that's, that's not something that happens yet. Um, though the rest of you are aware there are the three chests, um, up top as well. Can we get to them easily? On, yeah. And Connor might start to look over and inspect the outside of them all. All right. Um, yeah, they are, they are, uh, each, each of the chests is five feet long, three feet wide, and three feet high. Uh, all of them are unlocked if you desire to open them. And if you do desire to open them, I can tell you what is in them. Do you desire to open them? Hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so, uh, Conrad will, um, ponder to his head to one side he's got the mask back on again okay. um and then before he's gonna look into like oh you know, the left one i'm curious left about the one? center one myself so personally the, so the onyx one um yeah. so the chest so the onyx chest uh so opening it reveals a three inch long key protruding protruding from an adamantine keyhole set into the underside of its lid um is there anything in particular there is key inside that i can see <laughs> it's full just like oh cool uh you can turn it then <laughs> perhaps in all of them we shall see hmm. and he's gonna like close the close lid of that and then have a look at the next the middle one and then the next one i was just inspecting and, okay the yeah uh so looking through all three all three have the same thing golden key in an adamantine keyhole in the underside of the chest lid all keys they must do something 
but I am um, not certain whether turning or pulling things without consideration is perhaps the best choice of action between the two of you. Mm-hmm. Yes. From previous experience from me. Uh, true. Um, I do regret that. So remember, remember the line that you came in in with in mind the uh yeah the keystone on the inside on the inside inside only only. okay cool so um Mm -hmm. yes cutter will say the thing Uh, i do i do regret having done that should we turn key fall can you see anything else um i don't think so really i'm assuming i don't see of anything of note nope I don't see a keyhole in the sarcophagus. No. (laughs) Yeah. Does Um, the sarcophagus look like it can be opened up? uh, No, not in its current state. Cool, yeah. All right, it's all melted. No, this is completely closed. It is possible it is the key then, as um, other sarcophagus were easy to open with some effort. Hmm. Um, Just quickly, the prophecy thing Mm. that we've got is that the keys turn on the inside only or from the inside only on the inside only interesting okay um actually we'll join conrad over by the chests okay do we believe there is something to be gained by attempting this there may be something within coffin Otherwise, we can return the way we came. It may just have price now that we are in here. I do actually not... I, I was quite excited by this whole concept, but then um, as oh, as uh, in many cases, artists' suggestions have um, now trapped us somewhere, so... Indeed. Mm. It could be a good friend, though, so I do like that ring. So Beatrice... Correct me if I'm wrong, are you in here as well? No, no, no. My you just token, have your token in there for some reason. My token uh, is taken on a mind of its own. Okay. <laughs> and I can't move it. Okay. It's Moa. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think in part, Moa's just vibing. Might be blocking the way, and this is a weird spot. Ah, there oh, we I can go. move now. There we go. Uh, it was I th- just I th- was cursing us. No, <laughs> I think I think I think I had like the doorway or the uh, entrance to here open. That's fair. Or or, for, or closed rather, which was for doing audio listeners. Um, we have a little map up, and um, there's just a beard just choking and vibing mm. there, and none of us could move mm. away. <laughs> so it's extra cursed. Excellent. Cool. All right. So all the keys look the same. Yes. And are they all in a lock or next to They are all in a lock. Okay. Should one of us attempt to turn one? If there is no other alternative that we can see. I think that would be wise. To test at least. Okay. Yeah. I can do it. So you go to turn the key? Connor like looks both um Fall and Exley. Fall just like makes like a shrugging like it's your choice kind of thing. <laughs> Gesture. Exley will say to Conrad, um, who do you wish to turn the key? He like looks over Exley and then he looks over Fall. Well, he kind of like shrugs one of his like doesn't shrug his shoulder, like kind of like unlocks it a little bit he's like i will do it very well so you, and actually we'll step back so you are you are outside of the chest while doing this yes it does not turn well that makes this more concerning and more dangerous you're outside of the chest Keys turn do on you need inside. to be on the little circle platform that it's on <laughs> I imagine Conrad is probably on the platform. He is not in, oh, okay. in the chest. Yes. In Conrad the chest. Like, kind of like turns around and he looks very like, 
like this flash of like fear kind of like goes off his face he's like there's one more thing to test then this is concern um mm. perhaps a fourth member should be in here with us you do yes. you do have the bird and Artis is only th essentially 30, 40 feet out of the room. He can hear you. You can shout out orders for him to transfer to the bird. Oh. Uh... Perhaps we try bird first. Artis, can you send a bird in here? The bird there is in there with you. Oh, okay. The bird is in there with you. You just need Artis to make, like, you just need to let artists know what the bird needs to do. Artists, make bird what? go into chest and turn key. Okay. Okay. Um, he does that. And from your perspective, Conrad and Exley, nothing happens except for the key turns. The key turns. Four, <sighs> you see a, uh, on top of the sarcophagus below you, a, um, I'm assuming the placement of Conrad, it's the, the rusty iron one first? Uh, yeah. So, a rusty iron button appears on the sarcophagus. Cool. Do you want the bird to do the other ones as well? Oh. A button appeared on the, on the, the coffin thing. A change? Yes, there's a button here now. Make bird try others. Okay, so goes to the Onyx one, does the same thing. Onyx button appears. Oh, there's another. Other button has not disappeared. No, nope, rust, rusty iron one uh, is still there. Uh, no, there's two now. Kind of relaxes visibly. It's like bird moves. Good. It, bird moves across to the crystal, turns the key, crystal button appears, flies out of the crystal box. And another one now. Um, <clears throat> Fall. Are you doing anything with the buttons? Oh, shit. A moment fall. Um, oh, yes. Conrad will return to the ledge um, and stand next to Exley and be like, we should hold rope in case four needs to escape quickly. Mm. You also have a large sized bird. Who cares about the bird? What? It's just no, a bird. No, <laughs> I mean, like, the bird can help you get through without touching the pressure plates. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're back, back, oh, yeah. True, true, yeah. true. Um, but yeah, Conrad uh, holds the rope out to, to kill me. Exley. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Um, okay. He throws the edge over to I once fall. Press all three at once. Okay. The, uh, the sarcophagus turns uh, to transparent crystal, much like the window from earlier, revealing a mummified monkey-like creature within. Clutched Ugh. in its desiccated claws is a fearsome mace. Ooh. Um, another right then? Oh, I guess I get to do this then. And they <laughs> will start rapping. <laughs> um, I don't know if a hand or Roll a foot is like more efficient. Probably a hand is less likely <laughs> to kill yourself. Um, they, they will start wrapping their hand in their yeah. coat uh, and punch the glass. Yeah, roll to hit. Okay, um, so that will be a, oh god, no, that was not very good, that was an 11 to hit. Still hits. <laughs> I mean, it can't really What's What's the damage? That is, oh, six damage. Okay, so there's shattering. It's not quite enough to, uh, completely open it up, but. All right. Actually, no, that's bludgeoning damage. It is vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. Oh, excellent. So it is, in fact, 12 damage, which the entire thing shatters. <laughs> whereupon, whereupon the mummy animates and attacks, and that's where we're going to end oh. this week. <laughs> As this monkey bears this mace against you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Thank you oh for listening. God. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Have a good Thank week you next everyone. week, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>